Hello, uh, welcome back to the continuing lecture in simple interest. Now, um, in this video, right, uh, in the previous, actually in the previous video, I said we had, uh, we had only two things left uh, in this first topic, which are actually uh, first 60 day 6% method and finally, uh, uh, making partial payments by U.S. rule. Now, so first, let's think about what that 60-day, 6% method uh, is about. It's actually, you know, um, a very primitive, I would say, this is, uh, I don't know, the world... Um, this is very um, something for dummy type of thing, you know. Since 1990s, there there has been, you know, um, a big publication, right? Um, uh, it was a big thing, you know, uh, uh, to publish something in, you know, uh, uh, something for dummies, you know, computers for dummies, you know, internet for dummies, or right, accounting for dummies, you know, um, finance uh, investing for dummies, all these type of, you know. Uh, um, home repair, home improvement for dummies. All these type of something for dummies books came out, uh, and uh, in, in law, you know, in a barrage actually uh, since 1990s, right? Um, and I don't really like, you know, uh, that type of um, that type of, you know, uh, uh, publication. Why? Because it's skipping, it's bypassing all the intermediate steps. In other words, it's really important to, uh, uh, it's critical to know what's happening in the, in the black box. In other words, those books are trying to uh, water it down or dumb it down to the, um, to the point where uh, everything is like, you know, um, putting inputs, you know, um, into this big black box, which is in, uh, which is completely in, in, uh, impenetrable from outside. So you don't know what's going on inside, but you know, all it's telling you is you just put this, feed this data, you just feed this input, uh, in the tray, feeding tray of this machine, and here, out comes the, uh, comes out the, uh, you know, out comes the uh, output. Voila, it's that easy. But look, um, that kind of book is not really doing anything to help you improve your thinking, right? Reasoning ability. It's just, you know, uh, um, making you, you know, uh, dumb and dumber. I'm sorry to uh, use this expression. Um, because oftentimes I find um, I myself, you know, uh, uh, I find myself dumbfound, you know, um, uh, I myself, you know, find, uh, you know, completely, you know, dumbfound uh, when if I rely on GPS too much, when driving, right, my brain is not thinking, you know, it just follows the GPS prompt, right? In the days before GPS, when you drive uh, to a, you know, um, when you drive long distance to a, you know, some uh, location, you know, that's far away, you study the map and you have a mental map in your mind. And then you anticipate uh, what's going to happen in, you know, like uh, two miles. There's going to be an exit or you're going to make a left turn or right turn, you know. Um, you make this, you know, uh, in about two miles, you'll see, this, you'll see this road sign and, you know, you will, you are not only mentally but also physically prepared to react. But, you know, uh, if you are getting so used to just, you know, uh, GPS, you know uh, what I'm talking about. 
you're just waiting for that, you know, uh, prompt. And sometimes the prompt is delayed. Uh, and then you uh, miss the turn. And sometimes, you know, uh, the prompt is telling you to make a right or make a left. But you are, but it's too late. You know, by the time you have already passed, you're almost through the uh, intersection and then it's telling you to make up. That's too dangerous, right? If you make that turn at that point. So it's just like that. The books, those books, like, you know, something for dummies is uh, like GPS. And this 60-day 6% method, right, uh, is uh, giving you um, that type of, you know, uh, something for dummies thinking. So let me uh, explain briefly what it is. Suppose you have, you know, 1,000, you borrowed $1,000, right? APR is 6%. Time uh, is like 60 days. Then what should be the interest rate for 60 days? Oh, we know it will be exactly 1%. Why? I mean, you can do it this way, right? APR times, you know, uh, uh, 60 over 360 in ordinary year, right? If you use ordinary year. Right? Um, and then the interest will be, you know, $60 because you will be multiplying, of course, this times, you know, this. But uh, that means, you know, uh, oh, so for every 60 days, then it's going to be 1%, right? So for two months, oh, it's going to be, you know, 2%, three months, uh, 3%. But this is nothing, I mean, anybody who can think, anybody who has logical reasoning ability, uh, this is a really dumb thing. This is a really, why? Isn't it obvious if the interest rate is 6%, and that interest rate is annual rate, right? Then every month, monthly, isn't it 0.5% monthly? Isn't it right? It's 6% a year, so 12 months, right? So every month, uh, per month, is going to be 0.5%, right? One month is, you know, 30 days, especially in ordinary interest year. So for two months, 60 days, then it's going to be 1%, right? This is not, this is not, you know, um, uh, this is nothing, you know, uh, it doesn't take any genius to do this, right? In other words, if the uh, uh, APR is 12%, think about it, if annual percentage, annual percentage rate is 12%, then every month it's going to be 1%, right? And, um, uh, but you know, this is just half that scale. So uh, annually 6%, it's just half that scale. Every month is going to be just, you know, uh, uh, 0 0.5. So uh, two months, 1%, three months, uh, 1.5, four months, uh, 2%, right? So on six months, then it's going to be exactly 3%, right? So there's nothing. There's nothing, you know, marvelous about this. There's nothing genius about this. But some people, you know, just fall for this. And especially in accounting, they like something like this. They, they give you, you know, uh, something like, you know, rule of 72, rule of 60, something. They give these names and they tell you as if this is some, you know, a genius way of doing things easy. Hmm? It's like, you know, as if, you know, I can now even balance my, uh, <laughs> I can balance my checkbook. Oh, what an achievement. Huh? You are 19, 20, 21 years old and, you know, you cannot balance your checkbook. I mean, that in the old days, as if that was a uh, uh, war. In other words, balance, that's. You can do this, you know, uh, you can, uh, uh, in, a, in a second, you can do this. As if, you know, in accounting, they, they, promote, they promote this as if it is a, a huge achievement. 
this will work, uh, but think about it. This is this will work only if interest rate is six percent. What if the interest rate is not six percent a year? Huh? Um, it's not going to be conveniently one uh, percent for two two months, right? Or for sixty days. So then, why are why why are they making it such a big deal in accounting? Uh, it's big. It's it's very convenient, you know, uh, easy to um, conveniently you can calculate the uh, uh, short term interest if the interest rate is six percent. And the reason they picked six percent is because six percent is like historical average, right? As far as the uh, um, we can have written data and the written data on uh, interest rates or any financial uh, 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 data doesn't go back. It doesn't go that uh, that far. It doesn't go back that far. Uh, at best, you know, uh, 150 years, right? Um, prior to that, uh, there may be some, you know, intermittent or sporadic uh, record of some financial transactions, but it's not like you know, uh, like two centuries ago, three centuries ago, uh, there was no central bank. So there was no, you know, um, uh, one single authority that would set the uh, benchmark interest rate. Um, but, you know, um, even um, so, if we have written data for the last 150 years, at least for the last 150 years, the average interest rate has been, annual interest rate has been 6%, you know, if you take the average, historical average, or even, uh, but this rule has been around for very, very long time. I mean, this 6%, uh, 6 day 6% 6 meth method has been around since like, you know, um, uh, Egyptian or um, uh, Babylonian time. <laughs> so bi since biblical time, because it's easy to um, uh, calculate the uh, uh, interest if you're borrowing short term. And it's based on that, you know, 6% uh, annual interest uh, rule, uh, that assumption. Because uh, think about it. If you're charging 12% annual interest rate, it's like 1% a month. And people found it, uh, I mean, uh, generally felt very uh, onerous about that, right? Paying that would be 1% interest. But um, like, you know, 0.5% a month. Uh, seems to have been perceived, you know, uh, uh, centuries, you know, for so many, you know, centuries, you know, uh, as something, you know, reasonable on average, right? But anyway, so um, that's it. You know, it's nothing, you know, mysterious. Now, we're going to move on to uh, the next uh, example, um, um, U.S. rule. What is the U.S. rule? Um, I can give you the, uh, I normally don't like the verbiage, but you know, it's something like this. Someone, you borrowed uh, $5,000 for how many days? 90 days, okay, at 11%. And then, uh, but you know, when you um, normally, you know, uh, instead of waiting, I mean, uh, if, if you're making the payment in 90 days, you know, how much you have to pay, it's Simple, it's obvious, right? All you need to do is 5,000 times, 11% times, 90 over 360 or 365, depending on, you know. And then, um, um, but sometimes you don't do, uh, you don't wait until 90 days. You can make whatever, you know, you want to um, reduce your burden. So, uh, whatever you come up with, uh, you make that partial payment. So, according to this scenario, uh, on day 50, right, this is point in time, like I would say, uh, uh, point in time, it's, it's not like, it's um, day 50, day 80, day 90. I mean, it's not the length of time, but point in time, 
Now, of course, the first 50 days, day 50, it's both um, point in time and length of time as well. So on day 50, 50 days have passed, you make $600 payment, right? So then does this $600 reduce the principal balance by 600? No, think about it. This six, uh, you must have incurred interest for the first 60 days. Make sense? So um, this payment will break into interest for the first 60 days. And then the, the principal. And the principal is uh, the difference. You understand? If we calculate interest for the first 50 days, and that comes out of the 600, then the principal will be the remainder from the 600. Make sense? And then, so suppose we calculate that interest, and calculating that interest is not that difficult. Uh, but the point is, what I'm saying is, uh, and then uh, it's going to reduce the uh, principal by as much as that principal paid, right? Um, and then on day 80, you made another, you made $800 payment. Now, if you made $800 payment, then uh, the interest in the meantime, the interest in the meantime is for how many days? 80 days? No. Are you crazy? Huh? If you, are you willing to pay interest for 80 days? Now, if you're willing to pay interest uh, for 80 days, then you are either um, selfless or crazy or uh, simply stupid, right? One of those three things. Why? You paid interest for the first 50 days already, right? Makes sense. So uh, the interest... Uh, on day 80 uh, is only for the 30 days that has lapsed since the last uh, payment, right? In other words, um, the length of time between day 50 and day 80 is 30 days only. Make sense? And then on day 90, the lapse of time, the length of the time between day 80 and day 90 is only 10 days. Right, makes sense. So we need to make distinction between uh, point in time and um, length of time. So here, um, I have already you now annotated that these are all point in time. Maybe I can do it here, but you know, it's it's gonna. Um, it's going to, uh, you know, uh, make it very dense or, you know, um, it's going to crowd this label. Labels need to be, um, if possible, labels need to be as um, brief as possible. I, I use only symbols, right? Um, I normally wouldn't even put the spell out balance. I can, I normally would simply uh, do this, right? But there was, anyway... Um, uh, there was space due to um, something was taking up uh, okay I don't think nothing is taking up space so um, I can oh it was taking up space because of the uh, uh, this number there but uh you get the idea now right so these will be all points in time okay so i'm gonna uh comment i mean uh, uh length of time or duration duration or length of time is the same thing right duration Okay, and then uh, 
um, for this uh, problem, we will use, you know, um, ordinary interest here. If there is any other, uh, if there is no other, you know, uh, mention, uh, by default, it's ordinary interest here. So let's do this. First of all, um, to calculate the interest for the 50 days, uh, it's simple. Uh, Fifth, uh, the first 50 days, you know, uh, day 50 is both point in time and duration of time, during, right? You understand? Uh, first 50 days. So you simply divide that by uh, 360, right? There you go. And then the interest will be, so for the first 50 days, what's going to be the interest? This is the uh, original principle you owe, right? That times interest rate times time. Okay, you got that? That's the interest. So then out of this payment, and I normally use, you know, uh, PMT as the symbol for payment. So um, PMT, right? make this the same as that out of this this is interest and the principal paid will be the difference between the two okay then principal goes down by how much the principal will go down by much um, by uh, from this by as much as this, right? Makes sense? You're almost done now because, you know, uh, you might think, oh, I have to uh, look. Um, the next is simply making, you know, um, uh, simply, you know, uh, uh, converting, you know, time, days into year. Now, um, I'm going to copy... No, I will need to make adjustment, but first I will copy this and then make adjustment. Why? Uh, first, uh, what is wrong? What is the problem here? Now, C, if you divide C53, which is this, then the uh, length of time is 80 days. It's as if the length of time is 80 days. So we know it is wrong. And so what do you need to do? Uh, it has to be 30 days, and 30 days is the difference between this and this, right? So I'll click it in, close parenthesis, and let's check J53. J53 is actually pointing to this, which is an you know, exact interest here. Uh, what did I tell you? Uh, in this problem, uh, it's uh, ordinary interest here, but it just tagged along because when I copied uh, this cell and dragged it down, uh, the reference to cell is also moving because it's uh, going down. Uh, the reference cell or the target cell is, is also uh, moving. So you don't want that to happen. So what do you do? Um, you want this uh, denominator to be locked, right, into uh, this denominator, you want that denominator to lock into this cell. So what do you do? And uh, you hit F4, hit F4, and then you see this dollar sign, dollar sign appearing. What does dollar sign? That dollar sign means you are locking column J. This is column J uh, and row 53, you know. So that means you're locking into J53. Make sense? So once it is locked, then you can uh, you drag it down again. Then see, it's automatically taken care of, right? You, what you see here is then the lapse of time or the uh, length, uh, duration between duration of time between day 90 and day 80. Yeah, you found it like this. And then we can calculate the interest for 30 days and uh, 
or 10 days. Okay, all you need to do is simply, right, uh, drag it down. Now, this one is taken care of. Why? Because we have our principal balance, right? But this one isn't because we don't have the uh, principal balance yet. But look, uh, you can uh, you can fill in principal. Uh, you need to do this first, okay? Uh, you need to find you know what's the principal paid in the uh, uh, second payment out of you know uh, this 800. 40 was you know interest. So all you need to do is simply you know drag it down. Then uh, this much is the uh, principal paid, and also then pr uh, principal balance after day 80 will be this and automatically this is what you have you know the interest uh, for the remaining 10 days so um, the problem is actually asking so uh, what are the uh, interest and what's the principal paid and uh, after day 80 right after day 80 uh, what is the remaining payment what is the remaining balance now think about it that means after day 80 right uh, what's the future value at day 90 right makes sense uh, standing on standing on day 80 right looking at day 90 what's the uh, future value that's exactly what it is asking isn't it right so then we know what future value is it's the principal plus that's the principal after day 80 right on day 81 that's the principal uh, left and the interest uh, for the next uh, for the uh, remaining 10 days is this right so you hit enter so that's the final payment left right makes sense okay so this is actually you know for people who want some verbiage you know I've been I've been telling you I don't like verbiage because verbiage is you know uh, uh, everybody you know uh, I mean this is um, verbiage is stupid it's, it's really childish thing why because without even verbiage you know you should be able to um, extract the, the you know the narrative from simply from the data right and this class is all about training you right your ability to construct narrative from the data right but you know um some people always tell me professor please give me the uh the story the the word words give me the words look uh, for those people i copy you know i uh, copied this and you know uh, from the textbook something like you know jeff etzel owes you know five thousand dollars on a four percent 90 day note you know in this example that's you want to make it four percent you can change that to four percent right and so on uh six hundred uh, uh, on uh page 600 on note on day 50 and you know um the same scenario now It's like, you know, uh, these people are like, you know, uh, very juvenile, you know, they have to be in elementary school because all they, uh, what they want is, you know, Jack and Jill went to the store. Jack had $5. Jill had $8. Uh, they bought candies. Candy was, you know, um, uh, candy was, you know, uh, uh, $2. Uh, Jack bought two, Jill bought three. So how much, you know, uh, money did uh, have they left? You know, something like that. Isn't that isn't that ridiculous? That's it, I've been, you know, um, this textbook. We're not using anything from this textbook because the methodology they use in this textbook is just like that. You know, they are using, you know. Uh, pencil and paper. We're just borrowing the uh, uh, practice problems, you know, these uh, uh, just to use the uh, uh, problems for our, you know, uh, exercise, right? Um, 
uh, but you know, um, I hope you know. Uh, I believe you know. Uh, every one of you are mature enough to uh, uh, simply do without any uh, that juvenile, childish verbiage, right? Because what's the you know? Is it necessary? Do we need Jeff names like Jeff Edsel? Huh? Is it necessary? Why don't we just, you know, call it you, you owe five thousand or Mr. X? That's enough, right? This is the uh, uh, just waste of, you know, um, um, time and space, right? I mean, the book, um, I. Uh, <clears throat> The textbooks will be very, very cheap if there is no verbiage. But, you know, they throw in all these, you know, uh, colorful graphics, colorful, um, you know, um, excerpts, you know, from the uh, newspaper, you know. Uh, by doing all this color printing and a lot of verbiage, increasing number of pages, it's like padding, right? You're padding. Uh, uh, the book, so uh, the price would go up, right? Um, so there's no need for verbiage, right? Now, then now it is quite obvious what in the next problem, in the next example, what is expected, right? We don't need the verbiage, but you know, um, um, uh, but you know the story. Someone borrowed, right? Uh, this amount. Uh, in the original example, it says, you know, uh, owes uh, 5,000 on a 4% 90-day note. What does that mean? It's the same thing. You you borrowed money for 90 days. So here, uh, you borrowed this amount for 120 days. Again, these are points in time, right? And these are Duration, right? Length of time. And on day 15, he made $7,000 payment. On day 40, he made uh, $20,000 payment. On day 60, uh, right? We know the story. Then question is, what's the interest? And what's the principal paid? And what's the final uh, balance left, right? Now, this time, we use, you know, uh, uh, exact interest here. Uh, you might wonder, where does it say? Uh, you don't need. Why do you think 365 is highlighted here? And for this problem, why do you think 360 is highlighted? Right? So let's do that. This is, you know, a piece of cake because you did already. So the first one, uh, I'm going to divide it by. 365, and I'm going to lock by hitting F4 the denominator so I can drag it down, right? And uh, then the interest for the uh, first uh, 0 0.04 years is this times interest rate times T time, and there you go. And then the principal paid will be then the difference between this and this, okay? And then the principal balance will go down from the original principal. It will go down by as much as this, okay? And then you can already drag it down. You might say, oh, no, then, you know, uh, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, it's the same thing because we don't have this. But once these cells are populated, these cells will automatically adjust. Now, time in years, I will uh, just tentatively, I will just uh, temporarily uh, drag it down. But you know we need to make adjustment because um, if you hit F2, you will, you will be able to see the formula in the cell. We know it's not this. Uh, it's 
B40, so it's the point in time. So the time that has lapsed since the last payment was uh, this minus this. Makes sense? Then that's going to give you 25 days. That's the length of time or duration. Okay? And then the rest of them, it's, you know, you can just drag it down. And interest, you can drag it down. Right? Principal paid, you can drag it down. And don't panic when you see the uh, lots of hashtags. It simply, it simply means the uh, column is not wide enough. You see, when I place the cursor, you see this. Uh, the actual uh, value is showing. All you need to do is simply bring the cursor here, right, to the uh, borderline between the column labels and just quickly double click. Then it's going to automatically adjust the column width. Okay, now, so finally, uh, the final remaining balance is right, principal balance plus interest for the last, you know, uh, uh, 60 days, right? As we turn the two, 60 days. There you go. This is the uh, remaining balance. Now, uh, one more thing, last but not least. Now, as, as I do this, you know, um, as I dragged and you know copy and pasted, uh, the border lines were deleted. Uh, you know, uh, housekeeping is very important. Uh, you 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 need to. Uh, I mean, it's important to uh, keep it uh, neat, right? Uh, I mean, obviously, this is like you know missing tooth, right? So um, what I did was I highlighted those cells that need the bottom borders, right? Bottom border lines and uh, went there and selected a thick bottom border and click and voila, it's now very neat. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. Um, and I will, uh, in the next lecture, I will see you in the next lecture and we will talk about the uh, uh, simple discount, okay? Uh, end of video.